All right, what's up, YouTube? This is G-Man coming at you uh, from Cyberbeggar Channel. So, anyways, I'm, this is going to be part two to this, and uh, we still aren't going to get to the actual Constitution or the Declaration of Independence. Uh, it's 46 pages long, and it's just going to take a little while to get through this. So there's going to be a bunch of parts to this whole series, and I'm just going to systematically read through all of it until it's done. So right now I'm going to read Preserving the Principles, Guarding Virtue and Freedom, and Educating the People. And then next time I make a video, we will start with the actual Constitution to the United States. So, here we go. Let's see. Okay. I am committed against everything which, in my judgment, may weaken, endanger, or destroy the Constitution, and especially against all extension of executive power. And I am committed against any attempt to rule the free people of this country by the power of the patronage of the government itself. Daniel Webster. It is hardly too strong to say that the Constitution was made to guard the people against the dangers of good intentions. There are men in all ages who mean to govern well, but they mean to govern. They promise to be kind masters, but they mean to be masters. They think their need be but little restraint upon themselves. The love of power may sink too deep in their hearts. Daniel Webster. In questions of power, then, let no more be heard of confidence in man, but bind him down from the mischief by chains of the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson. I first saw the Constitution of the United States in a foreign country. I read it with great satisfaction as the result of good heads prompted by good hearts. I have repeatedly laid myself under the most serious obligations to support the Constitution. What other form of government indeed can so well deserve our esteem and love? John Adams I, however, place economy among the first and most important Republican virtues, and public debt as the greatest of dangers to be feared. To preserve our independence, we must not let our rulers load us with perpetual debt. I am for a government rigorously frugal and simple. Thomas Jefferson Guarding Virtue and Freedom only a, virtuous per, only a virtuous people are capable of freedom, as nations become corrupt and vicious. They have more need of masters. As nations become corrupt and vicious, they have more need of masters. Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. John Adams The sum of all is, uh, oh, I missed it, only a virtuous people are capable of freedom. As nations become corrupt and vicious, they have more need of masters. Benjamin Franklin. The sum of all is, if we would most truly enjoy the gift of heaven, let us become a virtuous people. Then shall we both deserve and enjoy it. While, on the other hand, if we are universally vicious and debauched in our manners, though the form of our Constitution carries the face of the most exalted freedom, we shall in reality be the most abject slaves. Samuel Adams Of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, Religion and morality are indispensable supports. In vain 
would that man claim the tribute of patriotism who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness these firmest props of the duties of men and citizens the mere politician equally with the pious man ought to respect and to cherish them let it simply be asked where is the security for property for reputation for life if the sense of moral and religious obligation desert the oaths which are the instruments of investigation in courts of justice George Washington in his farewell address we in America do not have the government by the majority we have government by the gain a foothold we wait we in America do not have government by the majority we have government by the majority who participate all tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent Thomas Jefferson educating the people this is part three and I'm gonna call it a video after this is over okay as well instructed people alone can be permanently a free people a well instructed people alone can be permanently can be permanently free can be permanently a free people James Madison our primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government in a republic what species of knowledge can be equally important and what duty more pressing than communicating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of the country George Washington I know of no safe depositor of the ultimate powers of society but the people themselves and if we think them not enlightened enough if we think them not enlightened enough to exercise their control with a wholesome discretion freedom of choice the remedy is not to take it from them but to inform their discretion by education this is the true correctiveness of abuses of constitutional power Thomas Jefferson say whether peace is best preserved by giving energy to the government or information to the people this last is the most certain and the most legitimate engine of government educate and inform the whole mass of the people enable them to see that it is their interest to preserve peace and order and they will preserve them and it requires no very high degree of education to convince them of this they are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty Thomas Jefferson the good sense of the people will always be found to be the best army they may be led astray for a moment but will soon correct to themselves Thomas Jefferson now tomorrow I will continue uh, and we will delve literally into the Constitution of the United States and uh, that's going to take a while it's 20 pages long in this book so yeah so that's gonna be broken up if I'm doing three pages a day that will that means that I will be uh, taking six videos to do it so or seven videos six or seven because there's two pages remainder after anyways uh it doesn't matter okay um this is part two g-man out